Hey kid, it's Jester here. Welcome to a new series. Uh, kind of new and old at the same time. Uh, anybody who's been with me on my channel for a while uh, knows that I've played all of the other Prince of Persia games apart from like the bog standard, very original one back in whenever that was. 80s, 70s? 8, 80s I think probably. Um, can't, I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, and that this is the only one left remaining for me to play. So, when I decided, oh, I need to play a new game, and uh, originally I was going to play Dying Light, but I thought, well, I've just finished Resident Evil. That had zombies in it. Let's let's not overload on the zombies, even though I am a huge fan. Um, so I thought, let's go into my backlog. Games that I, 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 I've, I've always wanted to do on my channel that I've not done yet. And this one just absolutely leapt out. I've played all the other Prince Persia's. I obviously planned to play this one all along. But wanted to take a break from Prince of Persia once I finished the other ones. Uh, well, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so I wanted to play it. Now the thing is, this game has slightly different quirks than the other ones did. It does have a good story and all that kind of thing, but the story comes in bits and pieces and drabs around other things going on. There's a big part of this game that is collectible driven. So there's going to be bits I do between episodes that you see where I collect these collectibles, which I won't, I won't say too much. You'll, we'll learn this as we go along. But um, there will still be a lot of gameplay, still. Hopefully not too much. However, this series is also going to be, have shorter episodes. This intro episode is probably going to be about 25 minutes long-ish, I'm guessing. But previous uh, episodes after that point will be between 10, 15, maybe 20. Depends. Just because of the nature of the game and how I think it would best reflect into episodes. Let's quickly watch this. Is there some backstory that might be a good idea? I can't actually remember what this reveals. Skip it. Because <laughs> another observation is this story, the story, the actual backstory of an exposition comes in bits and pieces and drabs as well. Told through the lady you can see there, Elika. So you do have to kind of pay attention to the speaky bits when they do rarely occur. Well, not rarely, but you know what I mean. You don't learn everything straight away, you learn it in bits and pieces as it goes through. Whereas in previous Prince of Persia games, you knew what the premise was. And though some information did come in bits and pieces and drabs, you knew a, a, a large chunk of it going in. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We'll, we'll get started. This game had a lot of criticisms when it came out because... Obviously, it doesn't follow the chronological story of the other previous games, which I played in the chronological order of the story, rather than the release, because I thought that was a better idea. The asking is yours. You know what it is that I ask. If you would have your wish, then give me mine. Now you see, get you get bits of that through the game at different points. So that that they'll be important to listen to if you really want to know exactly what's going on. So this this story, this game had a lot of criticisms. Because it kind of broke free of the previously established narrative. It was like a it's like a reboot that was a complete spin-off. Um, I can say some things without ruining too much of the story, because you get it you get it pretty much straight away. He's not a prince, but we still call him the prince, so that was a thing, and I'm not even sure it was entirely explained. Fully anyway. I think at some point people somebody says that he calls himself the prince because he just wants to. Um, there's also a lot of criticism for the cell shading art style, which I thought was really good considering what kind of game it is. Hi. Um, also, a lot of uh, criticism for the companion system. I told you she didn't come this way. Come on. Something that you'll pick up along the way. I won't say anything about that. You'll notice what I mean. Hey, and just in case you don't, name. I'll point out when it happens. And this first bit is very tutorial heavy. There'll be as we're learning the jumpy bits and the fighty bits, there'll be a lot of pauses. I've, I, I've played this game many times before, so I vaguely remember the controls. There's little things, that, little 
niggles and little knacks you do have to pick up as you go though. Like things that aren't fully explained, they just sort of like trust that you can figure them out. Like sometimes when you're doing these wall runny bits, they don't warn you, they don't always warn you. There you go, there's a buzzy bit for you. They don't always warn you that you have to do an extra little jump just to finish off bridging the gap. But then again, there were habits of that in the previous games as well. Hey, there's no need to get nasty. Of course, it's Nolan North voicing. We can talk about this. You can tell that straight away. Okay, so you're not a conversation. I was thinking of this came about. This is like. This game was like the predecessor to the Assassin's Creed that came out not long after. Actually, I think the first Assassin's Creed was 2007? 6? 7? And uh, this came out in 2008. So maybe it's not entirely a predecessor. The, as I've mentioned previously, the other <laughs> Prince of Persia games... Oh, you missed that. Yeah, and you can run too. He thinks it was him. <laughs> Why are you following me? I'm not. I'm looking for Farah. I heard you yelling. You and your girlfriend should get out of here. Girlfriend? <laughs> that was also a slight criticism a lot of people had. It's an insult to the memory of a beloved character. Though personally, I prefer Elika as a character. Farah had this hoity-toity attitude that was fine. I like a girl with a bit of attitude, but whereas Farah's just could be really quite hoity-toity and slightly off-putting, this girl has a bit of attitude, but it's not like completely abrasive. Why are you climbing around? Just climb up. Whoops. And just in case you didn't notice, that voice you heard then is the same voice. There you go, him from the cutscene at the beginning. Uh, the, we'll, we'll, we'll learn about that soon enough. Whoa, that didn't mean to do that. Well done, me. I did press the button. It seemed not to react. <laughs> I could talk on at length about the 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 no, previous criticisms, reviews, yeah. and the features in this game. And I always like to get that out of the way in the first episode of record, so there's going to be a lot of vitriol for the minute. So this is a slight hint to what I'm going to be saying about the companion system in this game. You'll notice more later, because I will make mistakes that will need that to happen again. Likelihood is, a lot of you have played this game before. So you'll know what I mean already. But for those who haven't. Magic isn't anything to do with why they're trying to kill us. They're not trying to kill us. They're trying to kill you. Okay, nice. Fine. Keep your Thanks. Secrets. But at least tell me how to escape. Yeah, as I was saying. I can't leave. Yeah, the previous it's Prince of Persia games were like a, a pre a, like a, a spiritual predecessor to the Assassin's Creed games in the acrobatics and all that kind of stuff. Now. This one came after the first one, I think. So it's kind of like, oh, we've, we've learned a few new knacks oh, from Assassin's Creed, so let's, let's test them out in this. Let's see if we can reboot the Prince of Persia series as well, get more I money. Kind of failed a little bit. A People didn't really I'm not in a good mood. warm to this one as, as much as they did Assassin's Creed or the previous um, uh, Prince of Persia games. I'm not sure if that's because they already had Assassin's Creed and they didn't need this, or I don't know. Maybe it was just maybe it was just bad luck, or all the little niggles that people seem to have with this series, this this game, this particular game. I guess people just didn't just didn't want to. I I quite liked this game. I think this is one of my favorite of the series. Of it's not really part of the series though. <laughs> yeah, this is one of my favorite ones. I mean, Forgotten Sands had that really great skill tree mechanic with the magic -y stuff. And the other ones had a brilliant story. But there was just something about this particular one. I still warm to it quite well. Even though a lot of Die Hard Prince Persia fans weren't quite pleased with it. Well done me. I did it on purpose to demonstrate. I swear I did. I didn't. But there you go, that's the companion thing a lot of people had a complaint about. There was never any risk of dying in this game because the, your companion could save you from Elika. She could save you from everything. I personally don't think that's a, an especially bad thing because 
it just saves time on having to do the whole continue screen bit. Because you're, you're going to continue anyway. So, you know. It just meant you could concentrate more on having fun in the game and concentrate on the story. And an actual companionship really does develop between you and this character. That maybe they could have done more with. But it's not like they actually failed in doing much of anything, to be honest. Can I... There we go. Get a bit closer. No, we're obviously learning about a lot of things. This prince has this gauntlet thing that we've got here. It is so cool. It is such an awesome addition. There's so many cool things. What princess? You're a princess? Well, no, no. Yeah, because that was the thing I was going to say. This is Nolan North. Um, oh. And it's like, it was really funny because he obviously did Desmond Miles and then he decided, you know what, let's just stick him in this as well. Alright, I'm already doing that. We counterattack. Ah, yeah, great. Cool. Oh, I need to block again, apparently. So, I was on the attack then. Why did I need to block? Oh, we're already up there. And that's a big old tree growing from that temple there, isn't it? See? The gauntlet. I thought that was a fantastic addition. But it also got a bit of criticism as well. Well, a lot of people said that it, it kind of took away the danger of when you were falling, of, of climbing down ledges. In the previous games, you had to be really clever about the way you climbed down things. If there was a surface you could get to further down. And a lot of people complained that the gauntlet kind of took that away when you could just slide all the way down. Again, I think people... See, people complain when a game is too complicated or too difficult. And then people complain when they make it, well, I suppose, too easy. So there is a balance. But the balance is hard to hit. And sometimes I favour that kind of thing so long as the story of the game doesn't suffer. And I, in this case, I don't think it does. I think the story in this game is quite good. I think. And we'll get a big old exposition dump in a minute. And I've said this previously, I don't, I don't, I'm not a hater of exposition, to be honest. Alright, okay. Where are we going? What are you doing up there? I played this game when it first came out. I liked it. But you know, each their own. A lot of people told me different things about their opinion of this game. I like it. Good. If you slide down, just keep sliding down. Thank you. There we go. I'm still got a bit of cord as well, by the way. So excuse oh, the no sniffing. I'm probably so coughing at some point. Armin, <laughs> the big bad god of darkness, kills people, destroys cities, scares naughty children. Unless you want to see lots of dead naughty children, you'll help me. I'm, gonna, I'm staying quiet for a lot of these initial talky bits because this is the most information we're going to get soon in, really. So I don't want to talk over too much of it. I probably will do later though because that's, you know, just that's just me. Lovely little tree here, isn't it? Reminiscent of the big one outside. I'm guessing this is, this is the seal, I'm going to guess. To be honest, I'm not sure why, being that he's not exactly an honourable uh, prince in this one, really. I'm surprised he came this far. <laughs> they don't really explain why he chooses to defend her rather than just walk away. Yes, that's her father, by the way. She should, that should be noted. Hello, how are you doing, sir? I'm the new boyfriend. Ah, okay, I did not time that well. I did not time that well. Can we do... Okay. Let's time this a bit better, please. Did not. Ah, there we go. Shook you up in the air and slice. And again. Whoop! Oh, he counterattacks this time. Okay. Stop pointing your sword at me. That's a horrible stance. Why are you doing that? 
Ah, I'm not getting the timing right here. On the counter attacks. Why does she just leap up? I forgot about that. She, She's very light. She's very acrobatic. She's lovely. I prefer her to fire. I really do. But she doesn't half... The, the whole acrobaticiness. Yeah, fine. They're going for that. But... Oh, 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 oh. No, no. Please don't do that. What the hell? That's new. Uh, but um, when you jump over people... Oh, gosh. Why does she follow? She kind of gets in the way. If, if I were to have slashed down when she was there, I would have caught her in half. She would have been running right in the way. Oh, that's not good. Now, we very clearly had the hint he was after something from Araman, the, the two-voiced god, who's both man and woman, apparently. Well, by the sounds of it, anyway. Um, and now... He's broken the seal and released Araman. Well done, sir. Why did you do that? And more magic. Uh, her magic comes in so handy, by the way, in these fights. Alright, fine. It's waiting for me to do that, I think. And again. You can make combos out of all of these attacks, but her magic against these guys is just magical. However, nothing... Oh, God. Nothing is better than combining them all. Because they do react to a good bit of sword as well. Yeah. One thing this game had going for it really, really well is those cinematic-y fighty bits. When you get against up, push up against the wall, or you have them pushed up against the wall. Very, very swish. Shadow monsters. Ah. Whoops. There we go. Well, let's not have that happen, please. See what we can do about that, maybe. Okay. I so timed that right. Come on. Give me a break. There we go. That's better. Magic. And sword again. Yeah, boy. Sometimes when you get up against the edge as well, or against the wall, it doesn't matter how much health you've got left, you can just demolish them. So it's really good to be very clever. And plan how you're gonna fight him out. Well, not plan how you're gonna fight him out. Oh shit! I did not see that coming. Uh, and uh, uh, I vaguely remember how this game begins, but obviously not very well. Um, so it's good to be like wary of your uh, surroundings when you fight as well, because they will come in very handy. Whoop. Very reminiscent of the first bit of. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Oh, okay, sorry. It didn't realise I pressed the button already. It paused because it didn't think I'd press the button. I had pressed the button. That's why I was worried it crashed. But it just paused. We're alright, we're fine. Oh, no. This kind of reminds me of... Still don't understand why you have two voices. The doctors that will consume the world. Any more of your relatives going to try and kill us? Or is it just your father who Oops. wants to end the world? Do you think I wanted any of this? If he could just release Araman like this. The great God of darkness doesn't just squish us flat. And they were making some sort of deal to do each other a favour. Why did they even need her? The must still have Why were they chasing after her at all? Were they worried she was going to stop them? To the yes, maybe. We have to get out of here. Fine, yes, boss. Run. I guess. But you're not going to get very far. Oh, I was on my way home. I had more gold than you could. I'd have had wine, women. I'd have had carpets this thick. Why do you want carpets that thick? Angry God and a crazy woman. I know this is whole Persian carpet thing. All right. But why do you want some musty old, dodgily patterned carpet that's apparently that thick? Why? 
I mean, does that really make it that much softer? Or would you just be like sinking in it and tripping all the time? I feel that would be the case. Why? 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 Why, Nolan? Why is that a thing, Nolan? Uh, this is another mechanic as well. This is actually really handy because this game gets really quite circuitous in the way you go around things, which is why, which is going to feed into why the episodes in this series are potentially going to be very short, at least in the beginning. As we get f deeper in, they might be a bit longer. But for these first f four... Okay, thank you. Uh, for the... Sounds like lots of you, yeah, okay, all right, fine, thanks, I already know this. Light seeds, we'll talk about them a little bit later on, in maybe in the next episode. All right, okay, there we go. See, these first four, I'm going to do an episode each, because these first four will introduce us to certain things. Uh, so I'll be doing them, uh, if I remember anyway. Hope I'm not getting that wrong. They're going to introduce us to certain things, so they're going to be slightly shorter episodes at the very least. When we get deeper in here... The episodes might start to get a bit longer, but I can't remember, if memory serves, anyway, I think. So yeah, so we need to choose one, we, we may as well, I was going to do Eeny, Meeny, Miny, but let's just do them in order, that would be the smart thing to do really, wouldn't it, the, the, the basic thing, duh. Anyway, okay, so yeah, so we'll go there next. Uh, but as for now, this has been the intro episode, we're going to touch base on a few things. We're not a prince. Some of the criticisms this game had. We're not a prince. That's not Farrah. We called Farrah... In this game, Farrah is a donkey. People weren't too happy about that because people like the Farrah character. I really like the Elika character, personally, though. Whatever. Um, we're not a prince. We have the gauntlet thing, which kind of takes away some of the worry of falling down ledges. But again, it the whole game as a whole, it makes sense to me, at least, anyway. Um... We kind of had a big dump of information there without really any motivation from the character, noted. However, again, it's a game. Just have fun. Um, having said that, he's a thief maybe with a bit of honour to him. I mean, we're, we're assuming he's a thief. He talks as if he's like a vagabond, a ruffian kind of guy. But maybe there's more to him than that. Maybe there's a reason he still calls himself priest, uh, prince. Not priest. Prince. Who knows? And what we know is that ooh, we've got a big... Oh, yeah. This is also a thing, because I want to pan around, so I have to do this now. She has magic-y stuff, and she's going to tell us where we need to go, blah, 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 blah. Those things, that's actually very handy when you get confused where you are. If you need to find a place to get to, you have your map, you have your waypoint, and that's like your little... Like in Dead Space, when you had the line across the floor, when you wanted to get to a place. It's kind of like that. Anyway, so now we've got this big evil darkness god. I don't know why the darkness god is creating lightning. You would think that would be in the name. The reason why not. Whatever, there you go. Anyway, yeah. So, touch base, going into the rest of the game, just in case you missed anything. Evil, creepy, big, evil darkness god with two voices, one male, one female, for some reason. Uh, problem. <laughs> um, us. Uh, bad boy with a heart of gold, I suppose, wanting to help the pretty girl. I suppose that would be a good enough reason for me, anyway. Uh, pretty girl with magic powers, who for some reason her father wanted to stop her doing something? I'm guessing at this point, because I can't remember every single detail, although I do have a vague memory. I'm guessing it was because she was going to stop him doing what he just did, which was break the seal to release Araman, who he's obviously got some sort of deal with, like a deal with the devil kind of thing. Which is a shame, because it seems like he was part of a culture that really wanted to keep this guy down. And if this guy is going to destroy the whole world, or gal, I suppose, depending on which voice you're talking about, why would he want to release him? What, what would be left of the world to have if he's... Just gonna let him destroy it. Weird. But there you go. Okay, so now we're, we're, we have the information going into the next episodes. So thank you for joining me, kiddies. I've been Jester. You've been awesome. This has been Prince of Persia. Whether you like it or not as part of the series, even though it's technically not part of the series, please stick with me. Just for just for fun. Um, and I'll see you. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you see and you want to see more. Nearly forgot. <laughs> and I will see you through the week. I have been dumb.
the light changes. I just knocked my head. Because the light changes when I turn it, so of course they're always in green because it goes green the direction I am 